Hello mate and welcome back. In this video I'm going to do my best to try to clarify some details about classes. Uh, due to my recent poll suggested that a number of people were still struggling with the concept so let's see if we can do something about that. Before I get started a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting the notification icon that really helps me out and of course an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons your names are going to be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So let's have a look at this then. So in object oriented programming, we need to create game objects. What is a game object? Well, a game object is quite literally an object. Now that object can be anything from a person to a car to a house, literally anything that you want. And in order to define those things, we need to create a class. Now let's look at the properties that we have in an object. I'm going to be writing in pseudocode, so don't worry too much about struggling with writing in Python or RemPy or any programming language. This is going to be written in plain English. Let's say that we want to create a game object of a piece of fruit. So let's say we've got fruit is our game object. Let's just write that down there. Now, there are different types of fruit. So in order to differentiate between one type of fruit and another, we need to have certain properties in our game object that allow us to define what those properties are. So the first thing is obviously we need to give it a name. We also need to give it a color. We can give it a shape and we can give it something like a weight or a value or a cost. Let's use the word cost because value can mean different things. And I'm fairly confident that in the real world, if I were to tell you the name, color, shape, weight, and cost of a piece of fruit, you would be able to go to the store and pick one up without too much trouble. Now, these are what we call properties. So these are all values that we can set when we create a copy of our game object and they don't need to change. So what we would call these is properties. That's quite literally what they are. If we wanted many different types of fruit, then we're going to have to create different versions of it, different instances of it. Now, we refer to instances when we're coding, but all we're saying is different copies, different versions of the same game object or a different game object based on the same class. So, for example, we would create a class called fruit. And then when we actually create a new version of it, we initialize a instance of that class so we've initialized an instance and then when we do that we need to decide what the values are so in brackets i'm just going to put so we're going to have to create name color shape weight and cost and those will be our initializing variables the values that we give it when we instantiate our class when we create a game object based on this class these are the values we need to give it which is fine. So we, hopefully everybody's with me so far. So that's basically the very, very basics of creating a game object based on a class. We've created a class called fruit. We've initialized an instance of it. So let's say we're gonna create an orange. That orange has, it, that's its name. Then we have a color, which is also orange. Then we have a shape, which is spherical. We have a weight, which let's just say for argument's sake, it's, um, 300 grams for example and the cost let's say the average cost for an orange is somewhere in the region of about 25 pence or cents or whatever you want to do so those are all of our values for that let's say we want to now create an apple which is going to be green it's also spherical, more or less probably a little bit lighter than an orange so let's say that's going to be 200 grams probably more or less about the same price so there we go. And we can just keep doing that. We can keep instantiating this class with all of these values. So for example, if we were going to instantiate this in pseudocode, we would say apple, I you can spell apple, equals fruit with the values that we've put here. So we just copy those like that. There we go like that. And now we can say that apple is a instance of the fruit class with those values added to it. And then we can do the same thing for orange if we want to. We can just get rid of that line of code now. We don't need that. And we can just do the same thing here. So we can say orange is equal to 
a fruit and it has those properties instead of the ones that we've assigned to Apple. That's really the very, very basic fundamentals of it. So those are values. Now, what happens if we want to add a property to this apple which requires a bit of math a bit of figuring out that's when we have to use a method as a property that sounds a bit difficult to get your head around but it's actually not that difficult so a method is something that we can add to our class which allows us to do something to it so for example if i wanted to eat my apple we could say we would have to define Let's just keep this in pseudocode. Let's define eat, and then we have to say we're eating itself. So we're eating of that instance of the class. And then inside this, we would say, uh, for example, orange is eaten. And then it returns nothing because all we're doing is we're saying that we've eaten the apple. So in, essentially, we need to change a flag inside there or we could just say that the weight of that is now considerably less and we can also say that the shape changes and we can also say that the cost is also going to reduce because we've eaten it so there's not much left there's only like the, in an orange there's only going to be the stones and the peel left and then it returns nothing because it's not asking it to but what happens if we want to remove the cost from this class to make it a little bit simpler for instantiating the class so that we have to put less in when we want to do in there we could now create a property by saying in this is a case of python we can say property and then we would say define cost and then inside this method we would put in the mathematical formula that returns whatever the cost is so let's say that the cost per kg equals I don't know let's say one pound and then we would simply say um, cost of item equals cost per kg divided by the weight and then all we would do is return and this time we are returning a value because this is a property so we're returning the cost of item so we've used a method to return a value which we have defined as a property so now if we're in python and we say tell me what the cost of this piece of fruit is it's going to come to this method and it's going to do this math for us and then return that value so that makes life a lot easier. There are, of course, other methods that we can use and we can create. We can mess around and try all kinds of different combinations of this kind of logic. But essentially, that's really all you're doing with a class. With a class, you're just defining a object within the game which you're going to use over and over again for various different reasons. For example, if you wanted to create an NPC class, they would have a name, they would have a height, they would have a weight, they'd have an, a, an icon. Whatever you wanted to add to that value would allow you to create that NPC and then just reuse the class by assigning different values in each instance of that class. Now I understand that it's complicated in trying to figure it out largely because of the language that we use. So just remember that an instance of a class is just a copy of that class. That's all it is. And uh, that's all there is to it, really. Um, th there is probably going to be some questions that are asked, and I really do appreciate it. If you don't understand something, please just let me know in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer your questions, either in a follow-up video if it requires one, or in a comment if I can possibly help. Either way, I hope you found that slightly more informative. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye.